The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your host, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, not a guest host, the actual host, but it doesn't really matter as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on? Well, it's the second day of uh, uh, the downturn. And as I said yesterday, I'm not a big fan of doing anything uh, within three days. If you're trying to go long, uh, a, uh, a big gap down. Uh, I'm going to say half the time you get yet another gap or two down like the first one. Uh, but... The first thing we got to figure out is uh, how many saps who uh, went out uh, on a ledge uh, can be uh, 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 have their uh, pocketbook picked uh, by the market. And why do you get all excited about buying? Well, there's a lot of people on the other side that are on the wrong side of the market that are long. They probably have had some margin because uh, what they've been doing is chasing the market the last uh, few months with decline, uh, declining uh, returns. So they decided to go big or go home. And in going big, they went uh, for additional margin to make additional money because it was just never going to end, right? It was only going to go straight up. So these guys probably, I'm figuring that a handful of, or maybe more of, uh, Big hedge funds probably were fairly uh, long uh, and margined long. It's not uncommon to see uh, some of those uh, 30 to 1. Um, so you can be on the wrong side of these as a uh, supposed professional in the market. Uh, you can also be a retail trader. We saw uh, more than a little bit of evidence that retail traders uh, were coming in and selling over the last couple of days. I don't think that that's gone. Uh, I still think, though, that um, as always, when you have a big move like that, there's always about a 75% chance you go back and retest the lows that we had yesterday. Uh, that's not uncommon. And generally, the faster you do it, the better the market's off. So if you're thinking about being long, you want to get that uh, low retested. You want it to come in on lighter volume, and you want to get uh, start seeing evidence that the market's starting to go higher from there. Now, could it happen in the next 24 hours? The Fed could come out and, and say, uh, you know, Humpty Dumpty uh, fell, and therefore uh, we can't put them back together, and of course we can't raise any interest rates anytime soon now because of China or because of uh, COVID or because uh, eh, he didn't like the weather forecast, whatever the reason is. Um, we could see that, and maybe the market could forget a lot of this, but I'm not a big fan of thinking uh, that that happens. I think that uh, he is right now thinking about how to at least uh, squeeze out as much of the margin froth uh, as he can over the next few days. We might start seeing money come in Thursday or Friday or something, uh, but uh, I have a feeling that he's probably more than happy to see uh, a lot of the people that thought that uh, markets only go up uh, get a wake-up call uh, and some of the ridiculous uh, uh, speculation uh, probably called back in. Um, now, I'm going to go through and have kind of a special edition, why every edition is special, every episode is special, uh, where we're going to look at stocks that really didn't blink yesterday or the day before. 
uh, that are still above their trend lines. We'll take a look at them. Now, generally what happens if we are going to have some downside is even those stocks will turn lower. Now, a couple of them kind of did earlier. I kind of refined my list so it would be uh, what we're looking for uh, throughout the close. But we'll go through those today. Anyway, um, I'm looking for narrowing trading markets. Probably, in fact, uh, additional uh, calls for uh, uh, margins uh, normally come in at about 10.30 and about 2.30. And normally you'll see some kind of at least low if you're watching like a five or 10 minute uh, chart, 15 minutes, something like that, you'll see dips around those times, especially in down markets. And that gives you at least a little idea of how deep the well is for those folks that were way out on the wrong side. Uh, as in Mon uh, Monday's call, I said, give it about three days. We got the Fed anyway. I don't think a lot of people are going to want to take a lot of risk going out in front of that. Now, what he says, uh, maybe he says something that uh, the market doesn't like, and maybe he says it on purpose, and then maybe he backs up all over it again on Monday or Friday or something like that. But I do think that they are wanting to squeeze out some of the XS, uh, what was it, uh, in 96? I've got it. Oh, irrational exuberance. Um, I'll find that in play. For it in the next segment. Anyway, the irrational exuberance speech in 1996, of course, uh, everything didn't blow up till 2000. And really what uh, Greenspan was talking about went to 2008, really, before it blew up. But, uh, you know, these things take a long time, just like China. Really interested in uh, what I watched uh, uh, the interview with, uh, oh, God, what's his name now? I'll have to think about it. Uh, Jim Chanos. Uh, yesterday on CNBC, I don't probably watch anybody, but he's one of the few that I actually watch because he actually uh, does some work and rips through the books and does some research and stuff. He's not a real good technical trader. Uh, he's been wrong well, maybe 10 years on China, uh, but literally his thesis was right timing's wrong. Uh, he kind of knew for four years that Enron was a uh, tower of uh, uh, jello. Um, and, but, you know, these frauds, they go a long time until uh, someone pulls out the carpet. And as uh, was it? William Buffett says, uh, uh, you only can tell who's swimming without a bathing suit when the tide goes out. And that's generally when you find these things like China who's been dependent really on its economy on building 20 million new apartment buildings a year or 30, depending on how things go. Anyway, we'll go through these uh, charts today, which are actually the ones that actually looked very strong. And we'll see. These are the ones I'm watching over the next couple of days, because if they start failing, that's a pretty good indication that everything is rolled. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, as I said, we're going to go through uh, some of these stocks. Um, kind of with one eye, uh, kind of looking over here to the side, I'll be keeping an eye on the S&P and the NASDAQ to see if we have anything. But, you know, this is probably the weakest part of the day uh, are these margin calls in a downturn. Uh, everybody wants to think that they bought a low. Um Yesterday, a couple of people, subscribers in the den, and otherwise, I said this could just kind of go sideways. We had our, you know, we had a fairly decent bounce off the lows, but man, you, you, it's hard to beat 75% chance of a high volume lows getting retested uh, when you have this big of a gap down in the indexes. So I'm not one to uh, to bet against that unless there's some overreaching. Uh, reason and you know unless the Fed's going to start blabbing today, I don't see that. I'll watch them uh, talk tomorrow, and you know maybe they'll figure some stuff out. Um, a lot of people have uh, gotten a couple of emails. A lot of people are kind of probably a little confused in that I tend to always uh, think uh, about uh, uh, the other side of the argument. That is, if the market's going down, I try to think, how could I be bullish? Not that I want to be. I may even be short, but I want to try to think a little bit more on that side. And when the market's kind of ridiculously euphoric, I want to think a lot about being short. Um, but uh, I've got a few emails here. Let's take a look. Uh... <laughs> um Hector wants me to play uh, enough with the negative waves because he had one of the stocks in the Tech Insider. And he says, uh, I'm now happy as a clam, I guess. Enough with the negative waves? Eh, I'll get that later. Anyway, um, congratulations, uh, Hector. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Okay. Anyway, um, just before the show, someone was asking about Uber. It's kind of interesting to see not much of a reaction 
Um, they've lost in the uh, uh, European courts on whether employees are uh, act, uh, are uh, the drivers are employees or uh, gig workers. Um, huge move today, I guess. Let's see, let me pull this up because it was kind of interesting to me this action. I'm just wondering whether the, you know they did it. Uh, earnings aren't till November third. So you got a little while going into that. Uh, maybe everybody's just short on the other side. I've been keeping an eye on it. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, more of a mystery than anything. Not a lot of short sellers in this. So eh, we'll see. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, maybe, you know, I would have been, I wouldn't be surprised if it gapped up on a lot of short sellers. But uh, maybe there's more to this that I missed out here. Okay. But you're up to the previous high with 76 million shares compared to 25. Yeah, oh, they pre-announced today. Thanks. Okay. Anyway, let's go back to some of these stocks, like I said, that are, uh, still going higher. Asana, A-S-A-N, um, even uh, through the troubles of the last few days, uh, never came down and broke the three by three, uh, kind of the same thing. And, you know, why it's not up today, it's not broken that. Uh, but these are a few of the ones that I'm kind of watching that really just haven't really started to tick down. Not a lot of volume today in Advantor. That's A-V-T-R. This thing's held uh, above the three by three uh, for a long time, several months. Uh, no real tick down. I don't know a lot about that company. Need to find out more about it. BGNE, Biogen, BGNE. Another one that's uh, had uh, 10, 15 days. Looked like about 15 days higher with not much happening. Uh, Pull back a little bit uh, on, on uh, Friday. Uh, you had a lot of volume on that high, so you're probably going to retest that 426. Uh, pulling back today on infinitesimal volume. Um, again, I have to find out more about what this company does. BGNE. Uh, okay, BLDE. Well, this one's got a little bit more interday volatility. Uh, Blade Air Mobility, BLDE. Enough volume. Uh, did go right down and hit a three by three today at nine dollars and ninety six cents and pop back higher, but no real signs out here. Again, these are the ones that I, uh, if the market's going to roll, uh, eventually everything turns down, and generally what you have is the weakest stocks. And in fact, a lot of those, as uh, Fletch in the Den tends to say, have already come down twenty thirty percent uh, already, uh, way in advance of the big stocks uh, like the Fangs. Uh, some of these stocks uh, haven't really started to budge. In fact, Brooks Automation had one of the biggest days in a long time yesterday, BRKS. Uh, as they say, this is a, mock, a market of stocks, not a stock market, really. A lot of different uh, cross currents. Cabot Oil and Gas um, really didn't move much uh, yesterday. Uh, doing a little bit of reversal out here today, so you want to keep a close eye on that. But on the positive side, it may be down a little bit, but look at that volume. Uh, pathetic compared to yesterday. Uh, DoorDash, another one with infinitesimal volume on the day, but uh, going uh, pretty much sideways the last four days. Uh, if you looked at this chart, I don't think you'd ever know that Friday or Monday happened. Uh, DOCN, which I've seen on a bunch of different uh, scans that I've been out here looking at. Um, this one's just at that level today. Uh, you don't want it to see it close below that, DOCN, Digital Ocean. Uh, but a nice move all the way from about 55 to 87. Uh, maybe you get a retrace out here, but uh, eh, actually looking a fairly strong stock in the face of a lot of really bad headwinds yesterday. D, or excuse me, G, D, R, X, good uh, R, X, which is 
Did this used to be Red, uh, Reddington's? I think it's another one of those uh, generic drug companies, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll try to check that during the break. Um, man, just straight up from the bottom, uh, going back into uh, uh, almost 60 days ago, this thing started heading up higher and really hasn't stopped. Um, HAE, uh, Hannah Monix, don't know much about this one either. Some uh, sideways action, Goji, no volume today, but continuing a big move. Uh, immuno, immuno, uh, immune, oh, immuno, I guess the way this is pronounced. Another one that's been a rip. You'll notice how many of these are in the biotech space. We'll be back in a Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Yesterday, we talked about Disney getting, uh, or a bunch of movies getting uh, hammered uh, and banned in uh, China. I don't know if that's uh, what's going on here in Disney today. Uh, but uh, Dan pointing out that they got hammered a bit. But uh, kind of interesting to see the volume in anywhere, uh, you know, commensurate with the candle they have today, but still very interesting. But uh, as I've said for a couple of years, everybody that thought that the uh, streets were going to be paved with gold in China um, for U.S. companies going over there, sadly mistaken. I, I'm just a, a guy with a small little 
show here in Tampa. But uh, I don't think those guys have uh, the brains uh, that a goat has. If they think the communists are going to let them run off with any money. But it's always been my belief. You got enough volume out here, you have to watch it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Disney or uh, Netflix or all these other companies that thought that they were going to be able to waltz in there and uh, let anything else go. Let's see if Netflix, yeah, it's got to be a Disney specific thing. I haven't checked the news, but uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, other stocks of interest, uh, KMX, CarMax, um, again, hard to get cars, uh, good margins. Uh, these car dealers actually doing fairly good down on a little light volume right to the uh three by three displaced moving average which will be pretty close to the nine day i just like it because it gives you three days to give you an idea where the thing could crack laredo petroleum lpi um just a nice smooth move higher uh back since august 19th but absolutely no signs out here other than light volume today and again i'm not saying go long these things uh, I'm saying these are the kind of canaries in the coal mine. We've already saw a lot of stocks blow up, uh, have huge declines. Uh, the question is, generally, if you're going to see an entire market roll, even the ones uh, that can uh, put off the first or even second round of selling will eventually start heading lower. And that's your clue that there's not just going to be a, uh, a little uh, – downside but a massive flush um, or in the case of uh, these new low water toilets multiple flushes um, QDEL uh, what is this doing dude quite L a lot of times I think I know but I just want to go back and check to find out uh, manufacturers markets diagnostic testing uh, solutions for Infectious diseases, cardiology, thyroid, women's general health, gastrointestinal diseases, toxology, toxology, yeah. Uh, Sophia and Sophia to fluorescent immunization systems. Huh. Yeah, a lot of stuff that just would make you sick if you actually saw it in person. Uh, but apparently you need it if you don't want to die. Uh, as my uh, title screen yesterday said, uh, even with the high cost of living, it's still extremely popular. Okay, QDEL in the, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's straight bio side, but uh, certainly in the medical side of it. Uh, Unicure, I'm pretty sure that's the way that thing is pronounced. Q-U-R-E, uh, nice thing out here. I don't like it going to higher prices with no volume today, but again, not a lot going on uh, with volume at all either. Um, let's take a look at this. Okay. Tractor supply. Uh, of course, uh, if you go out in the country, uh, that means outside of any of the big three cities in America uh, into uh, God's country. Uh, you're going to find tractor supplies uh, in the mid-size to lower area. They have a lot of hardware, stuff like that. Uh, but there's a reason why they're called tractor supply, and that is they started uh, for smaller cities. But kind of a cross between ice hardware and John Deere, probably the best way to describe them. Anyway, um, it's nice because they tend to be outside the area where there's a lot of Home Depots, stuff like that. So they can make some fairly decent margins on uh, stuff that, you know, generally you're not going to get that stuff tomorrow from Amazon if you live out in the sticks. Uh, but you can drive up to Tractor Supply and get it now. Um, kind of light volume doji out here. So, again, I'm, I'm starting to look at some of these stocks. They really didn't break. Uh, but tomorrow we've got the Fed at two. Uh, maybe he drops the Chalupa. Or maybe he uh, turns back on the uh, cash machine and gets Ben Bernanke out with a few helicopters, uh, along with uh, some of the other previous uh, Fed chairmen. And uh, they go to blowing that money around, and things uh, go back 
to the way they were just a handful of days ago. Upstart, UPST. Nice day, even some decent volume for a low-volume day. Uh, company's called Upstart. Uh, let's find out what these guys do. Uh, Cloud-based artificial intelligence lending platform. Man, these guys look like they just uh, put a bunch of buzzwords in a hat and pulled them out. AI, cloud, um, lending. Man, that hits all the buttons. Uh, they may be a great company. Certainly a nice stock price. Three twenty-seven ninety-three out here. Uh, incorporated in 2012, uh, San Mateo, California. Probably need to learn more about that one. Uh, <laughs> flux capacitor in Janet Yellen's helicopter. Uh, Vantage, of course, uh, an alternative uh, uh, to cell phones. Um, I think the big thing on this is that they're selling those phones uh, that don't look like Internet phones. So people, uh, they kind of act like old phones. Uh, especially around here, you can't get a a, a, a a T and T style old timey phone hooked up to copper anymore. In fact, I think they've taken a lot of them out, if not all of them, out in the Clearwater area. But certainly, um, no real ding on this one. It's slowly moving up. Uh, it's not going to make you rich, but again, kind of interesting to watch it. Uh, v L R S. Valeris Aviation, this thing's uh, had a nice uh, low, uh, tested the previous low uh, within a day, which I like. Uh, 2.11 million shares on August 17th. You get to August 19th with, uh, uh, what are you going to call it, 770,000 shares. So not 50% volume, but uh, test it with about, what, 38% volume? That's about right. Um, so eh, what do you got there? You just have a low you get a bounce retest and you're off to the races <laughs> uh pretty nice day today but again no volume and probably much of anything and my guess is you're not going to get volume until the fed starts doing uh ant blabby tomorrow so let's take a quick look at the overall market volumes since i haven't spoken about it um fairly good today already um, about six and a half billion shares, which is better than some of the very light volumes we saw at the, a, a couple of weeks ago with where we might not even have six billion shares. Uh, but again, a bounce on fairly light volume compared to the massive volumes we had on Friday and yesterday. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it, but I don't think much is going to happen until we get into... Uh, Are you in the market for day. buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. 29-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And as we come back, uh, this kind of see what else here. Uh, let's see, and hey, we're up two points. Um, you got a year a little dip. I don't think there's probably much, like I said, much happening between now and Fed. Generally, the uh, pattern for the Fed is to open up slightly higher on Fed Day, uh, start selling in uh, to. Uh, the two o'clock time frame, uh, and then uh, bounce or dive, depending on what they said, and then wait for another 45 uh, minutes, uh, actually an hour and 15 minutes, uh, because after the announcement, 30 minutes, you have them talking, and they talk for about 45 minutes and try to say as little as possible. But my guess is they're not going to be able to say as little as possible. Uh, if they act like uh, they're finding somewhere to put their big toe uh, and looking at the ground a lot, they, they may not play. Uh, homie may not want to play that game. little in living color reference for you guys from about 25 years ago. Uh, and uh, what else we have? That's kind of, we've got a couple more here. Valeris Aviation, um, as we said, light volume on that, but pretty much light volume in everything today. I would still love to see yesterday's low uh, tested early before the Fed meeting, wash, uh, wash out a lot of people right after the, um, uh, the uh, announcement. And then him by about three o'clock become all uh, sweetness and light after everybody's been crushed and run out of the market because they were silly enough uh, to be on margin. Um, I did have a question about margin, whether or not I ever use it. Uh, I do not use it overnight. I think there's a lot of times where um, you've got aces. And, of course, uh, aces can always uh, turn into a horrible hand. Uh, but generally, if you got aces, you want to put everything you can into it. So I don't have a real problem with it uh, as long as you do not go home after 4 o'clock. In fact, a lot of times I'll... And most of the time, I say 98% uh, will be out by 3:30. I'm not trying to uh, to uh, play a little white lightning on margin because you can have a lot of things happen to you in that last 30 minutes. Uh, but during the day, you know, if you've got a trend on the upside, I'm not uh, biblically opposed uh, to using margin. Uh, the people that get crushed are the ones that keep on charge. Uh, just adding and adding and adding and going home and you get the big gap down like we had on Monday. Um, generally, the psychology is to not instantly sell what you have uh, pre-market when you're seeing everything go uh, to the brown word. Everybody knows what the brown word is, right? Everybody's seen Serial Mom. Got to know that. Got to know your uh, references if you're going to hang around me. And your mixed metaphors. Simerex uh, Energy, the last one out here. No volume. You are down a little bit out here. Uh, but uh, I would still love if you're 
the two scenarios actually I'm looking at is that we've got a little bit of a pullback. The Fed uh, actually says some nice stuff. We go back up. There's no volume. Then the market fails. Uh, then we could have kind of the uh, pullback of biblical proportions that a lot of people are talking about back to 4,000 on the S&P cash. Um, more likely, that'll put us in the time frame of at least fund buying. So I'm a suspecting that unless something really bad happens, people are going to figure out China, probably not good place to put my money. America, probably not good, but they're, it's the best house in a bad neighborhood, and we're going to come home. And we're going to sing uh, several songs. My House by, what's the name of that group? It's an English group. And the other one by Steeles and Nash and Young. I don't think Young was in that. I think it was just Stephen Stills, Graham Nash, Our House. But either way, I do, di I do digress. <laughs> we got a living color uh, shout out here. Uh, you know, he's got some kind of gif here. We will sit here. Oh, there he goes. I don't think, uh, I don't, homie, don't play that clip right there yeah yeah somebody gets my my deep dark references here uh anyway uh yeah not much way of volume okay let's get back to some other stocks uh, i have a question about regeneron now that uh anaclonal antibodies have become a political uh football and uh somewhat worse from this email but i'll temper uh, the accusation of manslaughter. Um, REGN, uh, just going sideways out here. I don't see a lot on either side. Um, I did look into this earlier in the morning, spent about 30 minutes. I don't see uh, a lot out here that says uh, political issues are going to change a great deal. Um, did see just how many uh, stocks uh, that are how many companies actually uh, that have IPO'd over the last year and a half or two years uh, that are in this exact same part of the business uh, about anaclonal uh, antibodies and other things like that, uh, viral research. So looks like a good business. Uh, the question is, does uh, Regeneron just keep buying up other companies uh, like many others have done so they never grow to the sky like Regeneron has. Um, I don't know. We get a market that pulls back. I think a lot of these uh, companies, uh, biotechs are the worst. You get a big pullback in the market, let's say a couple hundred points, maybe more off the S&P. How many of these uh, biotechs kind of living on the edge are ready for money? Uh, can't really do much other than sell their own stock and dil dilute the existing shareholders. Might put out a fig leaf and say, hey, I want to get bought. And maybe that's good for Regeneron and other big tech companies out there. But uh, and right now, I don't see anything other than sideways here. Um, da -da 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 okay. Uh, Crasby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Yes, but I don't think Nash was involved when they uh, were singing My House. That's one of my favorite stories, by the way. I haven't been able to tell it for a while. We went out to uh, put a, uh, uh, a, I was going to call it an installation, a, uh, a theater, uh, a studio together in uh, Stephen Still's house on Maui. I'm going to say this is 1996. And all I heard him do was... Uh, yelling back and forth with his manager about selling the rights to uh, my house for a million and a half dollars if they played less than 25 seconds of it. And uh, anyway, we were installing it. It had all ended up being a big nothing burger. He never did anything with it, but uh, it was interesting. I did hear him yell a lot. I never really talked to him. Uh, but learn to uh, scuba dive in Maui. That was the good part of it. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we wind up the show, we got a little bounce out of here again. Kind of look for uh, lows at about 10:30 uh, tomorrow, and you know it would be perfect if you're looking to buy and everything doesn't go to the brown word uh, tomorrow after the Fed meeting. About 2:33 uh, ish, you should have another, you know, the, the cleanup on aisle on aisle three. Um, so that kind of gets it. We'll find out whether tomorrow we got a lot more to this downside whether or not the markets will separate China from the United States, whether uh, the money will come out of China and uh, go to Europe or the United States. It's going to go somewhere. Um, as I said, I'm not so uh, into the worldish uh, that I'm thinking that it's all over. Certainly, depending on what uh, U.S. leaders do, can have a big bearing on it, mostly the psyche of uh, the traders uh, thinking about running. Uh, again, we've kind of come in the last uh, handful of days for um, some of the bills in the House to really get uh, pushed through. Uh, you know, if we get a 40, 45 percent marginal tax rate on cap gains, um, I think you can just pull the plug on the market for uh, between now and the end of the year because it'll just be nothing but selling. Um, but again, they've got to get that through from at least what I read the next few days. 
Uh, it's not a high uh, probability uh, that that happens. And even if it gets through the House, probably dead in the Senate. Although I think uh, with the news the way it is, you might have a little bit of people thinking it is. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, sacrilege. Uh, Steve Rhodes says he doesn't know uh, who uh, uh, Here Come the Mummies are. But uh, they're one of the greatest uh, fans of all time. You'll never know their names because they do not tell who's in it. But it's the greatest artists from Nashville that mostly do the backings of all the other big records. Uh, three Grammy winners, 10 Grammys in the bunch. Here come the mummies. Check them out on YouTube. Very good.